This is Eugene Panrikovich on the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP Pavilion DM3 laptop computer with a cracked screen, and we're going to show you how to replace it. Okay, before we do anything, before we start on the repair, we want to remove the battery. And the way you do that is flip the laptop over. There's a lever you slide, slide right, right above the battery. You slide the lever and then you lift the battery up and the battery is removed and we can work on the laptop safely. Okay, as with most laptops, to get to the screen you have to remove the screen bezel which is the plastic frame that goes around the screen. And in order to remove the screen bezel, you have to remove two screws at the bottom that are hidden by some screw covers. And we're going to do that first, but before we start, we'll show you the tools we're going to need. We're going to need an X-Acto knife with a pointed blade, a pair of metal tweezers to remove screws that are stuck, an electronics screwdriver, with a PH1 bit. PH stands for Phillips and 1 is the size. And just in case, we also have a smaller PH0 bit. Okay, so let's get started. First, we remove the screw covers. We use our X Acto knife for that. So we just pry under the screw cover and gently lift it up. Try to lift up the adhesive with it, which I didn't this time, then it's easy to put it back on. And what I do after that is put it on the side so I don't lose it. There's one. And there's two, and the screws are exposed now. Next, what we want to do is remove the two screws using our screwdriver. One. And two. What I like to do for each step, I like to keep the set of screws in a separate pile so when I'm putting the laptop back together I can keep track of all which screws go where. Alright, now that we remove the screws we can remove the screen bezel and you have to snap it off and the way I like to do that is put my fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and gently start lifting up the screen bezel for this one, it's a little bit tough because there might be some adhesive. But you slowly go around. Like so. And keep going. If you get stuck on a part, just go to a different part. And keep moving. Then let's go to the bottom. The bottom is a little bit tough because I believe it has adhesive, so let's kind of come back to the side again. We've got the corner, and then we're going to start moving to the corner. And I hear the adhesive. Okay. And what happened this time is that the aluminum foil the covers the screen came off so we put the aluminum foil back and just want to get to the part that has the screen bezel and once again go to the corner and the bezel is off so what happened was this aluminum foil that's part of the screen assembly came off but it doesn't much matter to us because this is the broken screen and we're going to replace it anyway. Okay, so let's take a look what we have here. It's a slim screen, it's a thin screen, and the way it's mounted is with some mounting tabs on the side instead of a thicker screen which has screws mount going in from the sides that are holding it in. Okay, so what we want to do is separate the screen and the metal mounting brackets from the back of the screen assembly so we can safely remove the screen. And the next step is we remove the two screws that are holding the metal mounting brackets on top. There's one here 
and then there's one here, like so. Okay, and then I'm going to try to gently pry the screen up a little bit so we can get to it. And for this one, what I like to do is have a little bit more room to work with when we pry the screen forward. So I'm going to loosen the hinge, the hinge assembly screws that are holding the hinge assembly to the back of the screen assembly. And hopefully that will give me more room, more space to pry the screen forward than it did. Okay, so with this type of screen, it's a little bit unusual. For most laptops, you have screws that are holding the screen to some, uh, to some screw threads on the back. For this one, it has clips instead of screws. So for, what we have to do for this is gently move the clips to the side. And we slowly work it out. See if we're any more successful on this side. Okay. If something doesn't work at first, we'll try something else. So we slowly separate the screen. Yeah, let's see what's in the back. Looks like it's secured by some tape and that's hindering our progress. So we remove the tape. It should go easier. Well, at least we hope. Okay, so we still got a good angle. Good. So we remove this tape, put it to the side, and remove the tape here, putting it to the side. Okay, and hopefully, let's try again. And it went a lot easier this time. So what you need to do is remove the tape from the back. So good thing you need to watch the whole video. And we're almost there. So the I separated the mounting bracket from the screen. And just one more. And what I did here is I lifted up the screen a little bit. There's some more tape here that's holding things back. I'm gonna take this tape off too and to get to get it off the last metal clip as I'm going to try to well since I lifted it up I'm going to pull it this way and finally we have the screen free okay the video cable there's a there's a hook the holding the video cable so I'm going to remove the video cable from the Hook that's holding it so it can get better access to it. Alright, and now we can work on the screen. So, once again, to go over what we did here to remove the screen is we removed the tape from the back that's holding it, and then we pulled the brackets aside to remove the clips, and then for this last clip. That wasn't didn't want to go. We pulled the screen up. Okay. So next, what we want to do is remove the connector. There's only one connector. It's an LED screen. And this connector is held together, held fast by some adhesive tape. So what I did was I removed the adhesive tape to expose the connector and then when we're ready we just pull the connector back like so. And when we pull the connector back we see that there's some extra adhesive and we remove that. Okay, so the screen is free. This is a 13.3 inch LED screen and it's called a slim screen, so when you order, make sure you get a slim screen. 
let's take a look at the part number. Yep, there we go, we got a good focus. B133XW01. B133XW01 is the part you need to look for. Okay, uh, sometimes these screens come in several flavors also. So when you order it, make sure you have the metal mounting tabs on the sides. Uh, some flavors of the screen do not have these metal mounting tabs on the side, so make sure you get that. Okay, what you can also do is order this screen from Screen Surgeons, and what you get with us is compatibility guarantee. If the screen will ship is not compatible, we'll ship you the right one. And also you have free email technical support when you do the screen installation. To order it from Screen Surgeons, go to ScreenSurgeons.com. On the bottom of the screen, click on Buy a Screen, and then there will be a short form for you to fill out with the laptop model and your email, and we will reply with a link to buy the right screen online. Okay, so when you're ready to put the screen back in, uh, the biggest source of problems that I see when people are putting a new screen in is that the connector is not seated properly. So I'll show you how to seat it properly. When you connect it again, make sure you feel two clicks when you connect it. You won't hear them, but you'll feel them when you connect it. And let's see if I can do it like so. And let me give you a close-up of what the connection is supposed to look like. Okay, this is a good focus. Okay, pause the video right there and make sure your connection looks like this, that there's no gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. This is a good connection. Okay, so when you have your new screen connected back up, work the screen back into the metal clips like I showed you. And for that, you might have to try several different things, but try not to force the screen because it is fragile. And then tighten the hinge screws down here. Put the two screws back on up here. And snap the bezel on and put the screws on that are holding the bezel. And then you're good to go. And that's it. Uh, once again, my name is Eugene Panrichwich. I'm the laptop screen doc. And the other website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you.